Officials in New York State believe they are close to reaching the apex of the outbreak there, though today was the single deadliest day of the pandemic. At least 731 people died in New York State in the past 24 hours, though fewer people are being sent to intensive care and being put on ventilators. As Jackson Prosco explains, though, thousands more are still expected to die. New York's darkest day yet brought wave after wave of deaths. And no relief for overburdened hospitals. Funeral homes can't keep up with the endless cycle of grief. We're overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. We, 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 my, my, my staff is, they're on wit's end. Every victim has a story. And across the U.S., those stories involve people of all ages, from all walks of life, all taken by the virus. I don't know if any of us will ever be the same after this. There's going to be a lot of trauma from this for the the medics and EMTs. In the surge, officials see small signs of hope. In New York, the number of people hospitalized increased only slightly in the last day. Fewer people are being sent to the ICU. Have you seen anything in recent days that makes you optimistic? I don't see a lot of cause for optimism. Dr. Peter Hotez warns that even if the curve is starting to flatten, there's still a long, grim road ahead. I likened it to the eye of a hurricane where just because you're seeing the eye, you have to remember the other half is still to come. So there's still going to be a lot of serious illness and death, even if they have plateaued. The peak has come on faster, the rate of deaths higher than expected. The scientists whose models forecast more than 100,000 fatalities in the U.S. say social distancing has helped, but it has to keep going. We are seeing that people are sticking at home, they're adhering to these messages, and there is less mortality, and it's going to go down faster as long as we maintain these measures of social distancing. And that is the question here. How quickly do those case numbers start to drop off once they reach their eventual peak? The experience in other countries is that it has been a very long, slow, and painful descent from the top. Donna? Jackson Prosco in Washington, thanks. We will continue to consult with experts and try to answer your questions. You can send them to yourquestions at globalnews.ca. And on our website, you'll find a special page dedicated entirely to COVID-19. That's at globalnews.ca slash coronavirus.